Welcome to the Rajendra Tandon videos. Today I deal with three well-known heart problems. NAU rhythm of aortic, then aortic valve stenosis and the third one is arterial thrombosis and embolism. NAU rhythm aortic relates to the bulging section of an artery. When the blood pressure is high and an artery is weak or diseased, the weaker part balloons outwards, usually the main artery of the chest and abdomen known as aorta is involved. An NAU rhythm must be taken care of as soon as detected. A patient must seek medical advice. If an aneurysm bursts, immediate surgical intervention is required. A delay can be fatal. The symptoms are for chest aneurysm, pain in the chest, in the upper back between shoulders, wheezing, severe cough and shortness of breath, hoarseness and difficulty in swallowing. For abdomen, throbbing pulsation in the abdomen, pain spreading to the back, a rupture leads to loss of consciousness, fast pulse, severe pain. The medicines I discuss hereafter are mainly palliative. These are not a substitute for proper medical care. If a patient experiences stitches in the chest which are worse while inhaling, he has palpitation while lying on the left side, there is a chronic loss of voice, note this symptom carefully. Use Barita Carb 200, B A R Y T A C A R B 200. In cases of dilated blood vessels with chest pain, shortness of breath, Calcarea fluorica, C A L C A R E A, F L U O R I C A, 200 is needed, one dose daily. When the palpitation is worse at night, give lycopodium 200. At the end of it all, don't forget to consult a cardiac doctor or surgeon. The next melody I am taking up is aortic valve stenosis. It is aortic incompetence. The aortic valve lies at the exit of the main pumping chamber of the heart. It becomes thick and does not close properly. As a result, the supply of blood to the coronary artery and the brain is obstructed. In aortic regurgitation, there is leakage of blood backwards. This leads to aortic incompetence. The symptoms are shortness of breath in cases of aortic incompetence, fatigue and an awareness of heart beating forcefully. Swollen ankles in later stages, in cases of stenosis, angina, shortness of breath, fainting on exertion, dizziness while standing up from a sitting position. Now here too I advise you medical consultation, but the following medicines will help. In chronic aortitis, acute inflammation of the heart muscle. Pulse is slow, there is palpitation, there is breathlessness on climbing stairs. Give arsenic iode 30 twice daily, half an hour after a meal, along with other indicated medicines. In cases of thrombosis of the pulmonary artery, shortness of breath, what ego 
while standing up from a sitting position hardening on the walls in the case of old persons angina pectoris in chronic rheumatism patients where pain wanders from joint to joint use orum met 30 a u r u m m e t 30 in cases of thrombosis of the pulmonary artery with vertigo sp dos perma mother tincture is to be given when the attack comes in 10 drop dose every hour until relief is obtained the third item in this particular video is arterial thrombosis and embolism this is the formation of a blood clot in an artery of the brain the heart or a leg other arteries can be involved it is potentially a serious complication and requires immediate medical intervention a blood clot can form at one place and travel to another choking the supply at that spot this latter happening is known as embolism the risk factors are high cholesterol levels high fat diet smoking obesity lack of exercise the symptoms are pain in the limb even at rest i have seen some cases terrible pain acute pain numbness lack of color in the skin cold feet in abdominal thrombosis fever vomit severe pain in the abdomen homeopathic medicines are of tremendous benefit in cases of arterial thrombosis and embolism please listen carefully when the blood clot in, in the middle or end of a thigh there is a thick sensitive stirring all along the inner side of a thigh or in a leg give apis 200 apis 200 if the thrombosis occurs in a cardiac artery the skin is swollen and feels cold use bothrops b o t h r o p s 200 thrombosis with high blood pressure requires lecasis 200 the pain is worse on the left side on it is worse on pressure the patient experiences constriction lecasis is a very effective remedy once again i want to emphasize that in all cases of heart problems it is important to consult a cardiologist because as a layman the patient would not be able to understand all the implications and the risk factor is very high any delay can lead to undesirable consequences however homeopathic medicines when taken simultaneously would be of great use thank you for listening to this video we shall meet again